Hey guys, my name is Bobby. I work from home and I like to cook. Uh, today we're gonna try to do ratatouille. It's a really good dish for the winter. Right now it's winter out here in New York. And this is definitely something you wanna eat. Let's get started. I got some uh, zucchini, some squash, and some eggplant today. Some... I really like making this dish in the winter because it's one of those things that you want to come home with. Uh, I'm uh, Eastern European, so, so there's just something about tomatoes and sour cream, all that mixed together in the end. Got some fresh herbs too today, so I think I'm going to use these. Mm, just look at those. They look awesome. Fresh, and we're also going to use some rosemary. We're going to use some thyme. This can be actually a really simple recipe. Let's try to see if we have some thyme in here. Time that we can use here. Chop all that up. But pretty much in this recipe, all we're doing is we're doing tomatoes, eggplant, zucchini, and some squash. And then we just do some light herbs. And we're gonna do some garlic. Found this garlic at Wegmans. It's a store up here in North. I love this stuff. It's pretty much a, a whole clove, and they vacuum seal it. It's already pre-peeled. Makes it really easy. All right. Get ready here. Fix this up. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our Dutch oven and we're gonna get some color on these. Once we get a little color on these vegetables, what we'll do is stew them for a bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cube these and get a colander. <coughs> A sketchy looking colander. That's all right, we'll be fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna salt these and then Well, you can cut them super nice and everything. This is just, I'm cooking for my family, so I'm not too worried about having it perfect, but. Hey Google, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. So we're gonna salt each of these. Save these ends, maybe I'll use them for like a vegetable broth later. We're gonna draw out some of the water in these and then we'll be able to brown them a little better. Learned about ratatouille from watching the movie. I used to make it the super fancy way where um, you layer, you layer them just like in the movie. 
but I feel like even the uh, just making it in a pot with all these vegetables. These are pretty cheap. Uh, you know, this whole thing should be less than 10 bucks to make. You can also turn this into a soup, so I've seen people do where they use all the same ingredients and um, they just add a bunch of chicken or vegetable broth and it'll turn into a really nice soup, especially in the summer. It's a really nice soup in the summer. Eat with some grilled bread and olive oil or anchovies all right so we're going to start heating up our dutch oven here put about two tablespoons of olive oil maybe a little more You can just put a couple cloves of garlic, but I like to do a lot. I love garlic. So I'm gonna smash these. And then once they're smashed, we're gonna mince them up. Pretty much with some people say that this garlic's not the best because the uh, what happens is to get the skins off, usually you have to boil the garlic. So the way they get the skins off is they, they're not usually doing it by hand. There's a machine they go through. And they use steam to sort of get them off. And definitely can see it in the package, like they start turning a, a certain color over time. But I think for us, It'll be fine for, you know, it, it saves me tons of time. I feel like I end up using a lot more garlic than I normally would if I uh, just get the, the one that's pre-made. Are we looking? Pretty good. Hey Google, how much left on the timer? 12 seconds to go. All right, I think we're good. Wash some of this off. Hey Google, turn off the timer. Oh, look at that snow. All right, we're gonna add a little of this at a time. We're gonna have a bowl ready to take it out into as we get some color on these, so. Do about half, and then. Once we get a little color on these, that we're gonna start heating up our oven real quick we're gonna end up at like 425 get our onions too let's get a 
onion. I want to reserve some of this garlic just because later I'm going to throw it into the sauce. So we got a little color on these. This is sort of what we're going for right here. Nice color. Let's look. I think we're just going to do one sprig of rosemary a couple sprigs of thyme. I'm sure someone in the comments will have something to say about the. Um, You know, that's not the way you do this or that, but that's all right. Do it the way that you want. Just like they say about kimchi, there's as many kimchi recipes as there are mothers in Korea. It's the same thing with all the other recipes. we do the next batch of veggies we're gonna throw these in What we're gonna do now is probably throw some more oil in here and then we're gonna put some uh, onions and carrots in here. They always say to start your garlic out early first. Uh, I don't think that really matters. For this at least, you know, I, find, I find whenever you do that, your garlic ends up being brown when the rest of your stuff is still cooking. So we're going to throw the rest of these in here. Maybe add a little more oil. I don't really want that caramelized onions for this. I want more of the uh, the other kind. This is where we're going to sort of build what's going to spice. So when you got rosemary or thyme, it's always easy to just, everything's going this way. Let's go this way and pull it the opposite way. And it'll come right off, just like that. Boom. And then time I like to try to, as best as I can, 
do the same because the time stems are like the worst you know the rosemaries are pretty big but these are like the kind of just like getting fish bones so we're going to chop these two onion skin in there. So this is sort of going to be our uh, spice mix. Alright, we'll be back pretty soon. You know, get some more color on these real quick. And we'll go from there. All right, we're gonna grab our bell pepper now, real quick. And add some of that. I feel like bell pepper is pretty strong, so you don't. I don't. I don't really want a ton, but um, you know, and I like to keep these ends. We'll throw them in our scrap bag for uh, for broth. So we'll just. I'm not doing anything special because I mean, like I said, it's you know I'm cooking at home. We're gonna add that with our sort of spice mix because I feel like that's gonna add to that sauce. I feel like we can add this all in already. Start letting it. Wake up a little. All right, we're gonna add our tomatoes here pretty soon too. So, if you can't get uh, fresh tomatoes, really the next best thing is gonna be canned. That's some of the best sauces and things like that are from using canned tomatoes because their the flavor is so good. Sorry, I'm just looking for my. Uh, I always have to look for the can opener. There it is. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave some of these tomatoes just rough chopped. So they're only gonna be a little chopped and then the rest we're gonna get the immersion blender. So I always get whole because if you get um, I just, I like the taste better. I, uh, honestly, they probably all taste exactly the same, but. Whether crushed or diced or whatever. So pe people don't realize that when you get something like store-bought spaghetti sauce, that that stuff's been cooked a couple times by the time you get it. So if you want some of the best pasta sauce all you do is get your uh, turn the heat down a little it's already looking amazing I mean look crazy there's just a couple squash eggplant and onions zucchini Mm. Tastes good. Definitely need some salt though. Salt and pepper. And the rest of these we're going to add just like this. And uh, just whole. Someone will get them. And they'll actually like burst while we're cooking this. Gonna finish this in the oven. All 
All right. We're gonna close this up here in a little. Just let that all come together. Oh yeah. Turn it up to like a medium low before we put it in the oven. Our, our oven's uh, preheated. We're gonna transfer this to our oven and it's gonna cook in there for about 20 minutes. Hey Google, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, and that's starting now. All right, so we'll, we'll see you guys in 20 minutes. All right, guys, so it's been about 20 minutes. We're gonna take our ratatouille out here. Get it going. Turn our oven off. Should be ready here. Let's open it up, take a look. Oh yeah. Wow. Got good color here. Let's see if we can get closer. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yep, got plenty of sauce. If you want to, you can run it on the stovetop for a little if you don't like that much sauce, but I'm alright with it. Let's get it in a bowl. It's really great just with some toast. So we're gonna get some black bread. We got this awesome black bread up here. You get it at Wegmans. Mmm, smells so good. We're gonna grab a piece and just split it in half. Let's get the toaster. ourselves a bowl of this. Just on a plate. Get rid of those tomatoes on top. Got some Parmesan cheese. Get some sour cream too. make it creamy and tangy. A lot of umami. A little umami from this uh, cheap Parmesan. And just salt. Pepper. Even hit it with just a little bit of some good olive oil. And that's it. Some good rustic ratatouille.
or grilled bread. You can even, if you want to, you can rub these with some garlic. Sort of the next level. But that's it. It's our grilled ratatouille and or our grilled bread or toasted bread and just some good old ratatouille.